Today is all about the TaylorMade P770 irons. I've got the new 2023 model in my right hand and in my left hand, I've got the old 2020 model. We're gonna put them to the test today, head to head on TrackMan and see what the numbers tell us about the new advancements in the P770 iron. Golfers, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. And then tell us in the comments what you think of the TaylorMade P770 irons. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Taylor Ledwine, an online master fitter for Second Swing. We are at the Tour Van at Minnetonka today with a head-to-head -head iron test. It is the 2023 P770 and mm -hmm. the 2020 P770. So um, first of all, Taylor, I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna give you these and I'm gonna just kind of give the viewers your thoughts on the look of them and kind of, you know, also what you saw from the 2020 P770, maybe working with customers and in those online conversations. Yeah, um, a lot of people like the 2020 mm -hmm. P770s, um, kind of excited for a new yeah. updated model of it coming out. Mm -hmm. um, not too much, if you're looking at the back, kind right. of change in the difference, but it's a nice shiny, it's newer, yeah. very sleek looking iron, um, nice nice kind of look down at. So mm -hmm. um, I know customers are excited. They liked the 2020, so right. they're getting you know pretty jacked up about the 2023. Oh yeah, there was, there was a, it's kind of almost its own category because it has a lot of the same materials and properties as the P790, mm -hmm. which is very explosive iron, player's distance model, but it's, basically slimmed down. It's like it's like the P790's little brother, if you will. Right. And so there's um, some elements of a like a really compact player's iron, some elements of the P790, that explosiveness. But it's interesting that they're releasing this new model because of how successful P770 really was. Yeah, it was. Um, you know, a lot of people that call into us, yeah. Um, maybe play it or they're looking to switch into it. Yeah. Um, so it's a, it's a great option for golfers mm -hmm. and I'm excited to see how well this does mm -hmm. um, when it comes out. Right, and so the piece, the 2023 model, uh, they've made some subtle changes to it. I think you can see the back is a little mm -hmm. bit more uh, symmetrical, if you will, this kind of straight line across yeah. the, the back of it. A little cleaner look there, Right. Uh, but then also the center of gravity is updated, so it's progressive in the new model so a little bit lower in the longer irons a little bit more forgiveness and launch where you need it with those mm -hmm. longer irons and then the shorter irons it's a little bit more raised more control and um you know more spin as well so players can hit the shots they need to hit with those uh and kind of scoring clubs if you will so yeah. so today though a head-to-head -head test i'll be hitting the shots today p770 irons um the new versus the old i'm also mm -hmm. going to give my feedback on the look and feel but um, we'll see what kind of differences there are. Uh, I don't know if TaylorMade is kind of announced there's gonna be a huge difference here, but I guess we're gonna find out. Yeah, I'm excited to see, uh, see you hit some shots with these. The new one's gonna have a lot to live up to here. Yeah. <laughs> There's a miss. There we go. I roasted that one. I think Slowly your ball right. speed with your seven iron is 129. My ball speed hitting those drivers was 134. That's mushed. There we go. That was better. Oh, that's so far. That's so far. I think that's your highest ball speed so far. That was directly in the center. <laughs> Turn. Okay, Drew, so now you've hit eight shots yep. with both. Um, we've kind of got the numbers pulled up here. Mm -hmm. We'll look at the dispersion. Looking at a dress, what'd you think of it? So I thought the, actually, I thought now this, again, I don't have the official numbers on like the measurements, mm -hmm. but I thought the new uh, top line was actually, it, it's a little thicker and that might be true or they might just be doing something visually that yeah. like makes it look bigger, but mm -hmm. I think it's a little bit thicker. 
Um, I'm looking at the sole width. It looks like the sole might be a little bit narrower. So mm -hmm. I don't know, some give and take there, but I mean, it's still a great looking club. Yeah. Um, they're both, you know, I think that's the right, um, it's the right shape and right visual for a player that is maybe a mid to kind of single digit player that mm -hmm. wants to look at something that's not so big and bulky like some of these gear improvement irons are. Yeah, for sure. So if we take a look at the numbers here, I mean, you and I were talking kind of right before we did this mm -hmm. and there's not really a huge difference right. in anything. I mean, right, your club speed, mm -hmm. everything like that. So kind of for you looking yeah. at these, what do you think? Yeah, it's it. I mean, we didn't, looking at the irons, you don't expect a ton of difference because mm -hmm. they are so similar. Right. Um, the Really the big difference, and we'll see it on the dispersion map especially, but mm -hmm. I mean, looking across here, you got ball speed is very much, very similar within a mile an hour. Mm -hmm. Smash factor is the same. You got a, the spin is different, which is interesting. Uh, but distance is almost the same. Yeah. The peak height was the same. Uh, but I think what was different, it could have been a human thing, like on, on my own swing, but right. I was just a little bit more kind of, I was drawing the ball more with the P770. More curvature to the left. As you can see, the average curve was 41 feet left. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually, if I, when we bring up the map, we can see that, but there was not one shot left of center with the 2023 P770. So right. it so makes me wonder if there was some, there's some more elements in this iron to kind of um, more game improvement irons or kind of straight flight elements in here to promote me less workability and more forgiveness. Yeah, so we'll take a look at that dispersion here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot. So there was, it, it's just a wider left to right map for the, right. the 2020 P770. Mm -hmm. I was hitting a couple draws. I actually had three draws that were basically the same golf shot up there. But then there was a couple that didn't quite turn over. And right. for whatever reason, with the new model, it was just more consistent. I was opening the face a little bit and mm -hmm. then it would draw back a little bit, but not all the way across the center line. Yeah. Uh, just kind of watching you hit, you you know, they look pretty consistent. Mm -hmm. um, numbers show that they are. And it's like one of those things where, you know, which circle do you want? And I think yeah. here it's pretty obvious that the orange circle would be pretty much desired. Unless right. you're looking to hit it that far. Not far left, but with yeah. that little bit of a draw. So Right. I mean, it's, again, I, I, I think there's, again, this is a, a test of eight shots with each. Not a massive sample size by mm -hmm. any means. And, you know, other people doing tests might find a different result. But right. for us... It just seemed like perhaps some more workability in the old model. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit more shots available. The, the big draw, uh, hit a fade, you know, there was more curvature there. Whereas the new model might have a little bit more forgiveness and, I guess, consistency for the um, the player that might not quite hit the center of the face every time. Right. Because um, I didn't hit the center of the face every time. And it seemed like, you know, there was mostly some good performance regardless. Um, and I think there's even there, that one dot there short of the this 180, one? yeah, with the old model. Um, there was, that was kind of a, a, a miss there that, you know, I, it did drop a little bit more in distance than maybe some of the misses with the mm -hmm. 2023 as well. So another element there for uh, kind of the point that I think I think is worth making is the forgiveness is a little bit uh, higher level with this new model. Right. Yeah, I think that's pretty telling kind of with this short dot here. And then with the new model, you know, you mm -hmm. when you hit this one, you knew it was pretty good. So <laughs> yeah. um, kind of nice to be able to feel that right off the center to right. know that, you know, that one was really good right. and mm -hmm. um, get that kind of feeling on it. Right. So. And it is also worth noting, too. These are clubs that, again, it, they're in the players category, mm -hmm. but they're also uh, it, it have some elements of a player's distance iron. You can kind of see like even that, that shot up there at the top of the yeah. screen that you know, is 195 yards or something like that. Um, it's a, it can, that's kind of one of those like flyer shots, if you will, mm -hmm. that it can kind of jump on you sometimes when you have these sort of hollow body type clubs um, where you really don't get that with a fully forged body and face like some of these, whether it's a blade or whether it's a player's caddy like the P7MC, for example. Right. That would be a little bit more consistent. You'd see that kind of north to south range here kind of shrink a little bit with those. But better performance on the miss hits yeah. with, with these as we saw, especially with the 2023 model. I think that is one thing I've heard from some people who call in when they do sometimes hit that right in the center of the face, it is just going a little bit further than they're expecting. Yeah. So Right. And that's always, that's a tricky one, especially if you start to pull it and get that, right. and then you get way long left and yeah. you're usually in trouble. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I think some interesting findings here, yeah. and I think, uh, you know, the golfers that maybe come in and get fit, or maybe they're playing the current P770s now and they're gonna upgrade. I right. uh, would love to get their feedback and see maybe if they're seeing the same thing, maybe they have a different result in their testing. But regardless golfers, if you're gonna get fit for new irons, 
make sure you go to Second Swing, whether that's in our stores with one of our fitters, or you can speak to someone on the phone like Taylor here, get you dialed in for a new iron set, have you playing better golf, hitting more greens regulation, and ultimately lower scores. So Taylor, thanks for joining today and giving your insight. Uh, the new P770 irons are going to be really popular, and I think they're going to be really good. So uh, exciting stuff today. Yeah, thanks for having me, and thanks for hitting the shots.